The way I like to describe Raycast is the brains of the operation when it comes to my Mac. It makes everything so much more easier from navigating to my favorite apps, to searching the web even quicker, to just these little small features that just makes using your Mac so much better. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys five cool features that's just gonna change your workflow when you use Raycast. And once you have Raycast installed, you can go up here and this is the icon for Raycast. You can go into settings and you just wanna go under general and make sure that it starts up every single time you start your Mac and then make sure that hotkey is recorded to whatever you want. I have it as command space and that's all you need to set up Raycast. So the first cool feature I want to show you with Raycast is the ability to open up your favorite apps using just simple hotkeys on your keyboard and not having to use your mouse or your trackpad and this makes you so much more effective. So the three apps that I use so often on my Mac are Notion, Fantastical, and Todoist. And the way I can get to these apps, either launch them or just have them show up on my Mac, is using these simple keyboard shortcuts and I have, I have them set up where it's option plus a letter on my keyboard. So I have option N for Notion, I have option T for Todoist, and I have option C for Fantastical, which is my calendar app of choice. You can see how quickly that is. And if I, let's say if I close out Notion, let's go, go back to Notion here and I say quit Notion here, what'll happen is it's gone, but if I do option N again here, it's gonna launch Notion again. How quick is that? But if I wanna go to Todoist, I can go to option T. So easy to get to your favorite apps, especially your productivity apps. I use my to-do list all the time, calendar and notes. And this is just a really cool way to navigate and be more effective on your Mac. So to set this up is you go open up Raycast, and again, I did command space. And what I'll do is I'll just go Notion and you could see I have it already, it already tells me what the hotkey is and it's space N. So what I'll do is let's say I go to Notion calendar here, I'll do command K and I just opens up the settings for Notion calendar. I go down to configure application and this will just show you all the applications on your Mac and tells you where you can record that hotkey. So you can see Notion I have here, I've recorded as option N but you can do, take any of your favorite apps and set up this hotkey. And then that's how you access them when you're on your Mac. It makes it so much easier. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's totally worth it. So the second cool feature with Raycast is it has built in Windows management. And I think this makes it so much better to use and navigate different windows and have two windows side by side on your Mac. So I have here Notion, I have Fantastical. What I could do is I can take Notion, I can maximize it by using option up. I can put Notion on the right side by using option right, option left. So simple to use Windows management on your Mac with Raycast. And to set this up is very similar to what we showed before. You can do right half and you just could do command K and then you can go into configure and set this up and set up the hotkey however you like it. I like it very similar to how Windows does it with the option button and the arrow keys. The third cool feature of Raycast is the built-in calendar and calculator feature. So if you open up Raycast, you can do something simple like 200 plus 12 and it'll give you that calculation. You can also do simple calendar things like what's today's date or next week's date. Okay, next Monday is gonna be April 8th. Simple things like that, Raycast does really, really well. So you don't need to go on Google, it's built into Raycast. Speaking of the internet, the fourth cool feature of using Raycast is the ability to search the internet a lot more effectively. So if I go back to command space and I do G and I do tab, now I can type in Iowa basketball game and I can do a quick Google search without actually going to Google or going into Chrome. I can do it right through Raycast. But something else you could do is you can open up Raycast. You could type in P and this gets to Perplexity, which is a another AI search engine. I can do Iowa basketball, type that in and now it's going to search this search engine, this AI search engine, and give me the results. So it's really easy to do searches without actually going to the menu bar on Chrome or Safari. You can just do it right into in Raycast. And I set this up is similar to shortcuts, but what are called aliases. So if I type in, if I go to Perplexity and I do Command K and I go into settings here, configure command here, you'll see we have our hotkey and I could set up a hotkey for Perplexity say that five times, but I have it set up as P. So anytime I type in P into Raycast, it automatically opens up and I can just do tab and then I can start typing my query right into Raycast. I also have set up other aliases. So if I do money, I go to Copilot. I can do O for omnivore. So it's another way you can 
find an app is just to do an alias, which is just a replacement word for that app. And I like using one letter to get to that app. So the fifth cool feature of Raycast is their app store. And you can just type in store here and get into the Raycast store and type in really anything. There's a whole bunch of different extensions. They're all totally free, but you could do something like Spotify and you can manage Spotify right through Raycast. But the one I want to highlight or the two I want to highlight one is the search bookmarks feature, which I think is just so cool. The way it works is I have this set up as option B. So I'm going to go to option B. So this will search for all the different bookmarks rather than going through this menu bar on Chrome here. I can just type in what I'm looking for. So what I like doing is if I do Amazon here, I can get to all my favorite Amazon pages, right? How many times do you want to go into your orders or your wish list or your subscribe and save or your reward balance or the customer service? I have that all set up in Chrome. So all I do is type in Amazon. I can get to these favorite links. I don't need to go through my folders at all. I can just go ahead and search for a bookmark. So Strava, I have a couple of different Strava pages set up. I can go into my gear. I can go to my activities. Another really, really cool way to get into your bookmarks is to use this extension. It's called search browser bookmarks. The other extension I really like, and this one's really particular, but this color picker is really cool. So if I go and press hit enter, and now I have this color picker here and I can touch any color here. So the red icon of YouTube. What the heck's colors? I can click on that and then I'll copy to my clipboard and I can also just see it if I go to organize colors and it'll show me that this is the color for the YouTube icon. So that just scratches the surface with Raycast. There's so many features. So if you wanted me to do another video on Raycast, let me know in the comments below and let me know if you use Raycast for your Mac. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself and I'll see you guys in the next one.